Hi, today I want to show you how you can make 3D labels like this, which are going to always be facing the camera and can be used like in an MMORPG or something like that, where you can use it to show player names or whatever objects the player might be looking at, anything like that. So let's take a look on how to make this. For starters, I'm just going to add a child to my player, make it a regular spatial node, give it a viewport as child, also give it a Sprite 3D as child. Try to keep the viewport in front of the Sprite 3D, otherwise you might get some error messages. This doesn't actually lead to problems when running the code, but the error messages are annoying, so keep the order and it's fine. Then put in a label, some text on it so we can see what happens. And for the time being, nothing's gonna happen just yet. Let's move this up a bit so we will be able to see when something happens. The viewport needs some size. 300 by 25 should be fine for now because I'm using the default font. For other fonts, just play around with these numbers until it fits. And then the sprite 3D actually needs to know that it should be rendering this viewport. So I'm going in here, say new viewport texture, and tell it to look at this viewport right there. And as you can see, it's already rendering there. Now, one thing to be aware of, if you move this viewport anywhere else in a different scene or whatever, you have to hook it up to the sprite again, just like that, because it uses an absolute path here inside of the scene. So it's going to forget where it should be connected. As long as you stay aware of that, it shouldn't be a problem. Now let's put this text upside down so we can actually see it properly. Let's center the text. Mm, that's not centered because the anchors aren't set, so it isn't taking up enough space. Okay, now it's almost centered, but there's still some margin on it. So let's go in the label, check margin, and remove that. Let's take a look. Yeah, now the text is actually centered. So let's remove the background color by clicking on the viewport and just say transparent background. Takes a moment and there it is. And lastly, let's make it actually follow the camera. We can go on flags on the sprite 3D and in billboard mode we can say Y billboard and it follows the camera like this. But it's not gonna follow upwards. If you want it to follow in every direction, enable it like that and it always faces the camera. I like Y billboard mode best. But that's down to personal preference. So with that done, let's increase the size a bit because the default font is quite small. There we go, three times and now it's actually readable. Give it some color, nice. Let's take a look. Is everything running in game? It is. I can rotate the camera like this and the text always shows up fine. So that's really all there is to this. Just a few issues to keep track of, but mostly it's pretty simple. This will be all for today. Bye.